sensitivity, a little more compassion for ourselves and for each other. Bring your feet together, please, at the top of the mat. And bring your hands together at the heart. Just hit play. I'll do it. I don't know if it's my code. You probably know my code, though. I do. There we go. OK. Begin with your breath. There's actually nothing more important in this practice than turning inward and beginning to feel that breath move in and out. It makes us feel alive. It makes us feel present. Now, I want you to really press down through your feet so you stand up a little taller. Know that there is an opportunity for expansion. And that's what I really want you to feel today. I want you to feel like you can maybe be a little bigger on the inside. So I want you to keep all 10 of your fingertips touching, but open your palms. Make a little space in front of your heart. Make a lot of space in front of your heart. So let the wrists separate. Yeah. Space. Now, lift the elbows and drop the hands a little bit. Mm -hmm. And breathe a little bit there. Feel how there's some space under the armpits. And your lungs can actually feel a little bit bigger. That's really good. We're going to take two more breaths here, just being in the stillness. One more. And then see if you can keep that space under the arms, but let your arms come down by your sides. Don't glue them to your body. Just let them hang there free. Turn the palms to face out. And on your next inhale, reach the arms up high. Stretch up to those beautiful trees. Exhale, fold over. The first forward bend can be treacherous. A lot of us suffer with lower back pain, tight hamstrings. And so give yourself a moment here. That's it. Feel your body. Now, on your next inhale, I want you to only come up halfway. Push your fingers onto your shins. Feel the belly draw into your spine and really bring the chest forward. Uh-huh. Take a breath there. And then exhale, fold. On your next inhale, come up with that same flat back. Lift your head and your chest. Push into your feet. Reach your arms up high to the sky. And then hands to your heart. Fingers touching. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Lift and lengthen on your inhale. Step, step back into plank pose. Let's hold right there. Volume. Yeah. Thank you. A little volume on the music. My favorite friends from California. Bend your elbows. Go ahead. Lower yourself down slowly. Take it to your belly. Inhale into cobra. A little baby back bend. And then exhale, release and move into your first downward facing dog. Really push through your hands, pull the belly in as you make that transition. The hips go high, the head hangs low, and your breath is flowing free. Your breath is just flowing free. If at any moment you notice that your thoughts wander, if your self-talk starts to get the best of you, know that you can turn your attention right back to your breath. And your breath will bring you back to your body, which will keep you in present time. Take one more breath. Push back a little bit. And then look at your hands and start to walk your feet right up to the top of the mat. Come halfway up, inhale, and then fold deeply as you exhale. With a flat back, rise all the way to standing. We're going to push down as we rise up. Reach high, and then hands come to the heart. Keep some space. Good. Inhale, arms reach again. Now hook your thumbs together. Spread the fingers out wide. Give me a little stretch to the right. Make it feel good. It doesn't have to be the deepest stretch. Today is about making space. So I don't want you to collapse into your right side. I want you to open your left side. And then inhale, come back up. 
take it to the left. Feel the action from the edge of your foot all the way to your pinky finger. Even look up at your hands and then bring it back to the center. Hands come back to the heart, lots of space. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Lift and lengthen on your inhale. Step, step back and lower. Bend the elbows, come a little forward and down. Inhale into a cobra, lay on the belly. Just arch the back a little bit. Exhale, release, downward facing dog. So how's that feel so far? You guys seem to be moving pretty smoothly. Everything feeling okay? Okay, good. Take a really nice deep breath in, and then take a big open mouth, ah, exhale. Okay, when you're ready, walk those feet right up to the top of the mat. Feet together, inhale halfway up, and then exhale, fold. With a flat back, we're gonna rise up to standing, reach through your arms, and then draw the hands right to the heart. Nice work. Inhale, chair pose. Arms go up, bend your knees and sit back. Uh-huh. Good. Bring your hands to your heart again. Open up the space and take a little twist to the right side. A little one. Left elbow goes outside the knee. We're not even going to stay long. How about just one more breath? And then return to center and give me that same twist to the other side. Lots of space. Open up those palms. Get fingertips connected. That's it. You got lots of broad space across the chest. Open up the palms. Fingers only. Yeah. And then take a forward fold and let it go. Head hangs free. Give yourself a moment. Now we are going to bend the knees this time. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone and your chin. So it's not chair pose. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, and roll up one vertebra at a time. I want you to feel your spine stacking. Your hamstrings are strong. And you come up and you unfurl. Nice work. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale and fold. Lift and lengthen on your inhale. Now take your right leg and step it back. If you would, please stay on your toes. Keep that right hand grounded on the mat and twist open to the left side. When we do our lunges, it's really easy to let the hips get off-centered. So I want you to think about really straightening your right leg and lifting your right hip a little bit. And then bend your left knee so the left hip can drop in a little. That's it. That was really good. I just saw that, Connie. Twist in a little deeper. Let the right side of the body turn in. Nice. And then put your hand down and just take a big giant step back into down dog. We'll skip all of the goodies in between. Let the head hang free and find your breath. Use your leg power. The legs are what's going to get you to move back in the pose. Last breath here. Lift those hips a little bit. And then exhale, look at your hands and start walking your feet right up to the top of the mat. Come halfway up, inhale, and then fold deeply on your exhale. Bend your knees for chair pose. So little by little, we're going to bring a little bit of heat. Good. I like what I see. Everybody seems to be actually quite agreeable to this pose right now. It's because you don't realize how long I'm going to keep you here. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Feel your feet on the ground. Just really, really solid. All ten toes. Press down and then start to straighten your legs and come up to standing. Reach high. Maybe stretch back a little if it feels good. Take care of your spine and then hands to heart center. Good. Inhale. Arms reach again. Exhale and fold in. Lift and lengthen on your inhale and then step your left leg back. We're going to twist to the right side this time. But before you get too carried away with your twist, I want you to really think about your foundation. Let's really straighten the left leg. Keep that left hip high. Try to bend the right knee and drop the right hip a little lower. And then from there, start working from the waist up to create your twist. It's really easy as you start turning the body to let 
the left side kind of dip down, but we want to keep it lifted. Yeah. Now, one more breath. Left side of the body turns under just a little bit more. And then the hand goes down, and you take a big step back into your down dog. Just reconnect with your breath. That's why you're here. And if the poses start to challenge you, the big challenge is going to be to maintain your breathing. Not so much to execute the pose, but to stay calm while you're doing it. Take one last breath here, and then look at your hands. You can jump, step, or walk all the way to the top of the mat. Lift halfway, inhale, and then fold, please. Exhale. Let's bend our knees, chair pose, a short one. One breath only, come to standing, push through your feet and stretch. Hands come to the heart. Pause for just a second here, just feel the space. Maybe the space is just happening between your thoughts. A little space under the arms, lots of room for the breath. The belly moves, the ribs expand, the chest rises. There's even breath happening in your back body. And I need you really tuned into your breath because we're going to take it up into Surya Namaskar B. That's Sun Salutation version B. So we're adding the chair pose into the flow and we're going to add in some warrior poses. So on your next inhale, chair pose, just one breath only. Exhale, fold in. Come halfway up, inhale. Go ahead, step, step back and lower. Take it to the belly. Inhale for cobra, one breath. Exhale, down dog. And now the right foot steps up. Turn the left foot flat and rise for warrior one. I'm gonna give you a couple breaths here because I don't think that this pose comes so easily to the body. I feel like somehow that hip flexor on the front of the left hip is a little tight. So I want you to give it time. I want you to breathe. Start by pressing the left foot a little bit more firmly and then really straighten that left leg and see if you can find the muscles that make that left leg turn in a little bit. So try to turn the leg in a little bit without moving your foot. There's some little action in there. I know you can find it. And then start to turn your chest plate a little more forward. We're gonna take one more breath. Let's bend the right knee just a touch and stretch up as high as you can. Good, exhale, flow it out. Hands down, step back and lower. All in that same exhale, take it to the belly. Inhale for Cobra, and then exhale, move back to Down Dog, and prepare for Warrior on the left. So left foot steps, right foot turns in, let's rise up. And then you have some time to articulate here. Give your body time. The muscles actually with breath and with a steady hold, the muscles will give a little bit. So start with the back foot. That's it. Your right foot is grounded. Your right leg is straight. And you're going to try to find, with your mind, you're going to try to find the way to articulate that right leg, to turn in a little bit, turn it forward. We don't want the knee to turn out. We want it to turn in. That's it. And then turn your chest plate forward. Let's see if we can bend the front knee a touch. Yeah, so we're building this amazing base. And now inhale, reach the arms up like you mean it. And then exhale, flow it out. Hands touch down, step back to plank, and lower yourself slowly. Inhale for cobra. Open your heart, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's so good. We love down dog. And if you don't love down dog, then maybe you can just lift your heels behind you and make the down dog feel a little better. Let's take one more breath. And then look at your hands. Jump, step, or walk to the top of the mat. Do it with some grace. Inhale, halfway up. And then exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose. Come to standing. As you exhale, release your arms. All in one flow this time. Inhale, chair pose. One breath. Exhale and fold. On your inhale, lift halfway. 
and then exhale, both feet back and lower. When you're ready to inhale, take that little back bend, and then exhale, down dog, right into warrior. Right foot steps up, left foot turns in, one breath only. All those little articulations are happening in that one breath, and then exhale, hands to the mat, step back and lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, touch down dog, and come into warrior on the left side. So left foot steps, right foot turns flat, push down to rise up, give me your fullest expression, and then flow it right back out. Oh, I really like the way you're moving. And if I'm moving too fast for you, you go slower. And if I'm too slow for you, you have the freedom to go a little faster. We're all gonna meet in downward facing dog. We already did both legs in the lunge, so we're gonna wait in down dog now just for a couple of breaths. Reconnect with your breathing. All right. Last inhale. And then look at your hands. You can walk your feet right up to the top. Lift halfway. And then fold. Exhale. With a flat back, let's rise all the way to standing. Reach the arms up high. And then hands to heart. How are we doing? Already? You should be just getting started. Yeah? Inhale, arms reach. Good. Exhale and fold. Lift and lengthen on your inhale. Let's take plank pose this time and hold it. All right. So a fast transition here. Roll to the right. Lift your left arm up to the sky. Just take one breath. Try to lift your hips and then put your hand back down. We call that a pivot switch. Turn to the left, bring the right arm up, breathe in, and then hands down and lower. So everybody did pretty well on that. Inhale, cobra, and then exhale back into downward facing dog. All right, so from down dog, the right foot's gonna step up. Turn the left foot flat, give me a warrior stance. Come up for your warrior one. Uh-huh, very nice work. Build the foundation. Go through all of those little steps. Start with that left foot, left leg, left hip. All right, now keep the left arm up and reach it even more. Feel the left side grow. Drop your right arm down behind your back. You might even grab your left leg behind you. You can wrap around your waist if it feels good. I like grabbing for the outer thigh, the outer left leg. And then start to twist a little bit to the right. Oh yeah, keep pressing the left foot and reaching through the left hand. There's something really nice happening there. So it's a twist, a rotation, rather than a lateral extension. Take one more breath, that feels good, right? Bend the front knee a little deeper. Good, and then sweep both arms up. Stay right there, I know your legs are talking to you. So straighten the front leg for a moment as you drop your arms. Clasp your hands behind your back. Put your knuckles up on the sacrum. So I want you to bend the elbows and put your hands like right on that the hard bony structure. And then from there, push the knuckles into your back a little so the elbows and the shoulder heads move back. Do you guys feel that? I want you to keep the arms back like that. Keep the chest open and then extend your arms out behind you. Good, take a deep breath in right there. Lift your chest and then bend into the front knee. Bend into the front knee. No, we're not folding. Bend the front knee. <laughs> right? Simple. Bend the knee. Yeah. We are going to fold shortly, but I want you to get back into the warrior stance. Take a breath. And now, humble warrior. Yeah. Hare Krishna. All right. We're still paying attention to the back leg. It's still a warrior stance, so there's still internal rotation Krishna, happening. Krishna. It's really important that we press down when we rise up, so really do that. Press into your feet, start to lift your head and chest and rise up. Release the clasp of your hands, reach to the sky, take a deep inhale, and then let's flow it out. Hands down with some care and some mindfulness. Step back and lower slowly. Inhale into cobra, feel your spine stretch. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
All right, so warrior on the left side. The left foot steps up, the right foot turns in. We all know the warrior stance, so we come up and we just work on what does the body remember? What does the mind remember? Start with your feet. This is your chance to articulate the pose in your body. And I promise you, the more you're breathing, the more you're going to remember. The more you're going to really be in the sensations of the body and the more present you're going to be. How amazing would it be if you didn't have to rely on a teacher to lead you through a practice? And on a day where your schedule got kind of crazy that you could just roll a mat out by yourself, maybe put some music on that you like, and just start to flow and move through your body. And you just remember little things like if I ground my feet and I work from the bottom up, the pose is going to be magnificent. Good. Let's reach a little higher through the right arm. Drop the left arm down. Expand through that right side body. I want you to feel it from the pinky toe to the pinky finger. There's a lift in that back leg, not a sinking. And then a twist to the left side. Turn your heart out to the left. Maybe tip your ears back slightly. Feel the spine lengthen. You guys look amazing right now. Feel that. Take a deep breath into the right side of your body. And then turn and face forward. Bring your arms back up and straighten the front leg. Ah, let's release our arms down. So there's this amazing magical feeling that happens in between the poses as the body recovers. Good. Clasp your hands together. Do it the other way. So we always somehow put the same finger on top. Do it the opposite way, the one that feels a little weird. And then start with the knuckles on the sacrum. Yeah, bend the elbows so the arms move back, the shoulder heads move back, and the collarbones become a little more prominent. Take a deep breath in. Start straightening your arms. Pull the arms back away from your body. That's it. Hold right there and simply bend the front knee. Yeah. I want you to come back into that stance. Feel how balanced you are. Anchor yourself with the back foot and then slowly begin to fold forward. The back foot is going to maintain the balance in the pose. You're still working to turn the leg in a little bit. Turning of the leg is easier in the forward fold. Now we need to push down to rise up. So you're going to push into your feet. Go ahead, rise, head up, chest up, arms begin to sweep up. Your full expression, inhale, and then flow it out. Hands go down. Step it back and lower. Yeah, so sweet. Inhale, cobra pose, and then exhale, downward facing dog. All right, right foot steps up, stay on your left toes. This is a high crescent lunge. It's just going to be used for a transition. So step the right foot up and then rise up. And then I want you to turn to the left for warrior two. Pivot the back foot flat. So your left foot is flat. We're going to open our arms like wings and really just breathe. Come into your body. Come into this moment. Keep the left side of the body open. Once you feel like the left side of the body has opened, you can actually start to open the right knee a little bit more. Mm -hmm. See if you can bend in a little deeper. Something really important has to happen in the left leg. The arch of the foot lifts, the inseam of that back leg, that left leg is lifting. Uh -huh. I like what I see. Drop in a little bit deeper. And then drop your left arm down and your right arm up, and we call it reverse warrior. That's it. You could even wrap your left arm around you. It's nice to wrap around your waist. And don't be afraid to bend that front knee. You bend in deep, and then from the pit of the belly, stretch your body up. Return to warrior two. Both arms out. Straighten your front leg. You can say it. Say, ah. Yeah. Both legs straight. You'll be so much happier if you straighten that front knee. Yeah. Okay. Triangle pose. Trikonasana. Both legs are straight. Both arms are straight. And we just tip it over to the side. Do your very best not to scrunch up in your right waist. 
Use your right hand on your right shin for a little support. It feels really nice to root down, to rise up. So what if you put your hand on your shin and push down? Yes, you see what happens, the spine will expand. That press down to rise up, that press and rebound is a really amazing thing and we can use it in every pose. Turn your left palm forward, reach the bicep over the ear. I know this is a long hold. Sometimes I challenge you with a longer hold rather than a lot of poses. Inhale, the arm comes up. Exhale, eyes to the floor. You guys just can't wait to get out. Push through the back foot and come on up slowly. Good, turn and face forward. I want you to step your feet together. Do it with grace. Yeah, it's not always pretty. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale and fold. Lift and lengthen on the inhale. Good, step back, step, step, and lower. You guys look good. Don't forget the inhale on your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, left foot step, stay on your right toes. We're gonna move through that same sequence on this side. Simple movements, but a little bit longer hold so you explore what's happening in your body. We're gonna turn open to the right now, turning into warrior two, the back foot goes flat. Now you have time, start at your feet. Warrior two, lots of space, lots of space. Do you feel space under your armpits? Do you feel space in your left hip? If you feel like you're sitting deep in the left hip, I want you to try to turn that knee out just a little bit. Uh-huh. As we focus on the left hip, we often forget that the right side body needs to expand. Okay. Now, sink it just a little deeper, and then reverse your warrior. Left arm up, right arm down. Left up, right down. Mm-hmm. That's it. And then we're back into the side waist. So I want you to feel what's happening in the side body. Make sure your toes are turned forward. All the way, turn. Yeah, now bend up. You can come down a little deeper into the front knee and then from the pit of your belly, stretch up. Good, return to warrior two. Straighten your leg and say, ah, yeah. Pause for a moment. I don't know why any of us ever run into the next pose, because you know how long I'm going to keep you there. So if I'm actually offering you a break, take it. Find your breath. Come back into present time. I know what the mind does. Our human minds are wild. When we start to get challenged, it's amazing what dialogue happens in between our ears. So right now, see if you can quiet that down, if you can come back to the breath. And then from this place of equanimity, we go to triangle pose. Left arm goes to the left shin, right arm up to the sky. Try to open yourself up wide. Lots of space in this pose. Both legs straight, both arms straight, spine long and straight. Keep anchoring the back foot. I want you to feel your right foot and your right leg super strong and then turn your right palm forward and reach the bicep over the ear. Yeah, long side body. My favorite thing to do in this pose, when you're extending like this, is to turn the left side of the body under me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and now I just want you to lift your right arm on the inhale, take your eyes down on the exhale, and then inhale, push through your right heel and come on up. Good. Now, both legs are straight. Let's turn and face forward. Bring the hands together at the heart. I'm going to help you make this a little more graceful. Soften the front knee. Pull in the belly and step your feet together. Good. Inhale, arms reach. It was a little better on that one. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Beautiful. Let's go to plank pose and hold it. Now last time we didn't stay very long. We did a Vashistasana and we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna add a little something. So roll to the right, you're facing the left. Lift that left arm up. We're not gonna stay long. Lift your hips, now turn the palm forward and reach. Uh-huh, so good. Lift those hips a little higher. Maybe drop the head back a touch. Arm comes up and then replace it on the mat. So good, everybody. Roll to the other side. Right arm to the sky.
turn the palm, reach the bicep over the ear. See if you can lift the middle. Lift the ribs, you've got this. Arm comes up, inhale. Hands return to the mat. And then lower yourself down slowly. Inhale for Cobra. And then exhale back into Downward Facing Dog. All right, take a deep breath in. And then I want you to drop your knees down to the mat. Uh-huh, nice work. So we're in a tabletop pose. Right arm is gonna go forward, left leg is gonna go back. Right arm forward, left leg back. Mm -hmm. Belly in. It's too easy to let everything kind of drop. And I don't want you to worry about going so high. Actually, see if you can stay parallel with the floor, especially the leg. Try to keep the leg parallel with the ground. Now, bear with me on this. It's little tweaks. We're gonna turn the right palm to face down, and then we're gonna turn the left toes to turn out. Yes, now bring your arm out to the right and your leg out to the left. Try not to poke your neighbor. I don't think they would appreciate it. Not in that position anyway, especially after the conversation we had about the pinwheels, right? <laughs> All right, you guys are amazing. Keep the leg there, put your hand down. And then simply put your foot down over there on the left, right where it is, and turn it till it's flat. Uh-huh. Nice work. Walk your hands back towards your knee and then come up to stand on that right leg. Nice work. Inhale, arms reach. And then I want you to drop your uh, right left hand to your leg and take a little stretch over to the left side. Mm -hmm. So pretty, huh? Where's Ryan now? <laughs> this is a really pretty one to take pictures of. <laughs> especially with so many of you. Now, how do we get that side body a little more open? Can we press down to rise up? Can you reach the arm a little bit more? That's it. Now, go with me on this. I want you to be strong here. You're gonna keep stretching to the left, but lift the left arm up and hold it out parallel. Oh yeah. Strength and flexibility. Now, from deep in your core, inhale, rise up, both arms. Nice work. Right hand is going down to the floor. Take it down. And then give me just a really beautiful stretch, bicep over the ear. A little bit easier on this side. You guys look amazing. Now, if you could get that right hand flat under your shoulder, right hand under your shoulder. So there's gotta be, however, think about how long your waistline is. You gotta have that much space between your hand and your leg. So move your hand out on the cement, yeah. Now, I wanna see if you can lift your left leg. Uh-huh. Don't kick your neighbor. <laughs> be nice with your space. Simple, but not easy. Good, foot goes back down, arm goes up. Pull in the belly, push down to rise up. Take a deep breath, reach your arms high, and then place both hands back on the floor. Here comes the fun part. You're gonna lift the left leg back up, and then take it out behind you. Ah, oh, and then pull it in and take child's pose. How nice. Every once in a while, something new. Find your breath. Feel your body. Be open to the sensitivity, to the space that you're creating. And our practice will create space physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And I think it's really important that as a conscious being, as somebody who is working on taking care of themselves, that we be really aware of what we're doing with that space. What are we filling it with? I would love to think that we're filling it with love and compassion, sensitivity that starts right within you so that maybe we can be that way with each other. Let's come up onto our hands and knees. Left arm forward, right leg back. It's not about who goes the highest. 
Think about getting long. Stay parallel with the earth. Pull the belly to the spine. We're balancing the body right now, pushing and pulling. And if you push down, you'll rise up. It's so easy to sink in this pose and forget. And so I'm here to remind you, press down, rise up, find the space. Okay, now subtle changes. Turn the palm to face down and turn those right toes out to the side. So the whole leg is gonna turn and then you take the left arm to the left and the right leg to the right and you be careful of your neighbor. If you really want to challenge, go above your neighbor. Mm -hmm. There you go. Breathe. Steady. I know that this is not an easy pose. I don't expect it to be easy. I want to see what you do with the challenge. What's happening with the chatter? Now, simply put your left hand down and then right where that foot is, put it down on the side. Make sure your foot goes flat. Turn your toes forward and then walk your hands back so you can stand on your left shin. There you go. Standing up tall, inhale, the arms reach. And then right hand to right leg, give me a stretch over to the right side. Make that left side come alive. There's still a push down to rise up. If you're feeling pressure on the left knee, push into the left ankle and foot more. Spread the weight out. Mm -hmm. I like what I see. Maybe let the head back a little, get a little more extension. And your breathing is beautiful. Now a little strength added. Lift that right arm parallel. You gotta pull the belly in, right arm is parallel to the earth. So we're not leaning on the right hand anymore, we're lifting it, breathing. And then on your inhale, rise up. So good. Left hand is gonna go all the way out to the floor. Give me that really nice stretch bicep over the ear. This is like side plank. It's like what we did before, but you have a little bit more um, support underneath you. Let's put that left palm flat and just test the water. See if you can lift your right leg up. Simple but not easy. You guys are doing a great job. Are you breathing? That matters more than anything else. Go ahead, release your foot down, bring your arm up, and in slow motion, rise back up to the center. Awesome job, hands go to the mat. Here's the fun part, right where that leg is, to the side, lift it, and then send it to the back. Pull the knee in toward the belly, and then take child's pose. Be nice to your hips. Breathing. All right. right where you are, I want you to just come to seated. nice if you can sit on your heels but I know that sometimes the knees and the ankles don't appreciate that so you can swing your feet around into a simple cross legs whatever works for you bring your hands to your heart open up the palms and feel the space feel the connection of all ten fingers and just acknowledge the space right there in front of your heart Fill that with breath. I want you to breathe in a way that you actually feel three-dimensional breathing happening. The breath moves up and down, it moves front to back, and it moves side to side. If there is any part of you that is not moving when you breathe, I want you to put your mind there and soften it. Let's think of that body part as if it was wearing some armor. And right now in this moment, on this beautiful day with this really nice, beautiful breeze, right there in the middle of your practice, maybe you could just shed the armor for a moment. Maybe you could just let down for a moment. Close your eyes if it feels safe. Let your skin soften. 
Breathe your whole body. Look for movement. Look for how many places are being touched by the breath. This is yoga. The poses help us to focus, to stay connected to the breathing. But the real goal is to actually become more deeply connected to ourselves, to know what it feels like to be comfortable in our own skin, to be brave enough and courageous enough to get back on the mat again and again, no matter what is revealed to us. And I believe that it's in these quiet moments that the truth is revealed. We hear the inner dialogue. Don't ignore it. Pay attention. Those thoughts become words. Those words become actions. And then that's what your legacy will be. And you have the power to change it. You can shift the trajectory of your life by doing this. Being still, being quiet, listening, being sensitive. It's amazing to me that it could be this simple. and also not be so easy. Now I know that those legs need to unfold. So if you're in simple cross legs, take them out in front of you. If you're still sitting in Virasana, shift your weight to one side and bring those feet around in front. Oh yeah, feel the release. Oh, the joints are happy when there's space. There we go, once again, making space in the body. Pay attention to how it feels. Let's inhale and reach the arms up. And then place your hands right next to your hips on the mat. I want you to push down into your hands and push out through your feet so it feels like your legs are pushing down. The legs are pushing down and we're just gonna take Dandasana. There's subtle little things happening here. Your spine is straight up, your legs are straight out. Press out through the soles of your feet, press your leg bones down. Lift your chest up, widen your collarbones. Your butt is on the floor. Mm -hmm. Breath steady. This is just extension. Push down to rise up. That's all it is. We did it in Tadasana. Don't look for the big gross movements. Look for the subtle. What happens if you pull the pinky toes back more? Mm -hmm. What if you don't lean back? What if you stay straight up and you draw the chin down and back a little bit? The back of the neck can lengthen. Take one more breath there. And then slowly let the arms float up. Take a deep breath in and then humbly fold forward. Let your back stretch. Let your head bow. Two breaths only. Try to soften. It's charming, isn't it? <laughs> and then I want you to come up a little and bend your knees so your feet go flat on the mat. You can stay kind of slouchy. And then roll yourself down onto your back. You earned it. As soon as you lay down, I want you to put a smile on your face. And not because I said it, but because you feel it. Keep your knees bent, keep your feet flat, and just breathe. Right knee to the belly. Squeeze it in and then extend your left leg out. Flex both of your feet so the toes are pulling up. And then lift your head, neck, and shoulders so you can look at your left foot and then lift that left foot off the mat. Mm -hmm. As we're coming home. And I want you to be able to do this 
and not look so angry about it. <laughs> so release your arms and reach forward. Your hands are an extension of your heart. So I want you to just like reach with some passion. Reach like you mean it. Uh-huh. The knee can still pull toward you. And your chest can pull toward your knee. So there's a little bit of work there. You can internally rotate your left leg a little bit. That's it. Last breath. And then lay it down. Oh. Go ahead. Release that right leg. Let both legs be flat for a second. Like, is there a moment where we can do nothing and be okay? Feel the release. Feel the space. Feel the space. Let's pull the left knee in. Give it a little squeeze. Start flexing both of your feet. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Look to the right foot and then lift the right one. I know that there's work going on here. It's okay. Do it with a smile. Start to reach your arms out. Reach through your fingers like you mean it. And then you can still start to bring that left leg in a little tighter and lift yourself a little higher. And then internally rotate the right leg. Just a little tweak in. Very nice work, everybody. Are you breathing? And then let it go. Lay it down. Let yourself be still. Colors unfold as we're coming home. As we're coming home. When you're ready, both knees are going to come into the belly. And I want you to rock a little side to side until you can rock yourself over to the right. Let your knees and your hips go to the right as you open your chest wide for spinal twist and look out to the left. Be as soft as you can here. We did plenty of work today. I'm going to encourage you to lift the left arm a little higher. Just bring it up a little bit above your ear. Breathe into the left side. the head turns to center, the arms come back down, the knees come to center, rock a little side to side, a little massage, and eventually you rock it to the left side, open wide across the chest, reach the right arm out and look to the right, soften. And then maybe this time we lift the right arm just a little higher by the ear, maybe. Don't overstretch. Just enjoy the right side of your body. Enjoy the space between the ribs. ready go ahead bring your arms in bring your knees back to the center and then if you would just place your feet back down on the mat we're just going to do one little series of rolling bridges so push into your feet inhale lift your hips up just stretch your body open in the front and then exhale put it down one vertebra at a time again inhale lift up and then when you go down, make sure you put down the upper back first, then the middle back, then the lower back. Mm -hmm. Inhale again, last time. Come up a little higher this time. We'll hold for one extra breath. A little push down to rise up. And then really slow, really sensitive. Upper back, then middle back, then lower back. Once the pelvis is on the mat, let your legs go and give yourself a 
few moments of quiet. Go ahead and take a really long, slow, deep breath. Take the biggest one you've taken the whole class and let your body really fill up. Wait till you're really full and then hold it for just a second. And then open your lips and let it out like a whisper, just like a whoo. From there, you can begin to stretch and breathe and move any way you like. Eventually find your way to seated. we come back to seated and take a moment just to pause breathe and just notice how you feel when we acknowledge this it makes it so much easier to find it again when we need it the most I know at the end of practice we all are like oh, I feel so good after yoga and then five minutes later you get in your car and you drive down the street and you're flipping someone the bird right <laughs> but like what if we could actually acknowledge this and see if we could actually give it value so we wouldn't throw it away so quickly and sometimes they deserve it but we could also acknowledge that sometimes people are just in a hurry it's the biggest meeting of their life they're gonna get fired if they don't get there on time they have to get there it's important they just got a call as an emergency with a family member. They're not like thinking about being like rude. They're like, they need to get somewhere. So sometimes we just have to give them space, let them go and maintain our peace. Cause it could be us one day. So just little things like that, little ways to bring the yoga off the mat. That's how the yoga changes our lives. In little ways like that. So let's be more sensitive. Let's be more compassionate. Let it begin right here with us. And then maybe we can trickle it out a little bit. Hi. Photo up. <laughs> All right. We're gonna close our practice with the sacred sound of Om. It's just one really beautiful sound and it raises the vibration, not only for ourselves, but it also raises the vibration of everyone around us. So I wanna do this so that we actually spread a little bit of this yoga out into the community and not just keep it for ourselves. Let's all, <clears throat> let's all take a deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om, peace, peace, peace. May this practice always be a source of peace for each one of us and have the ability, let us all have the ability to cultivate that little bit of peace within us and share it. Namaste. 
Namaste, namaste to everyone. If I could see you all and look you all in your eyes, I would namaste you. But I do see you. I see you. And I so appreciate you. Now, don't forget to grab a pinwheel and plant the garden. And we have a second treat for you today. My friends at Raw Juice are here at the park today, too. So we have the pinwheels on this side. We have juice on this side. Um, so you get a really nice, healthy, refreshing treat. I am just so um, thrilled to make the day just an opportunity to stick around a little bit longer, maybe get to know somebody. Um, is there some kind of direction you want me to give? Yes. Grab a pinwheel. There's boxes of pinwheels around. So if, there, if you would look around, there are boxes of pinwheels around, and you can just pick one up. You can probably even pick up the ones that are spread throughout the park and just bring them over into the garden. And it would be so nice if after we plant the garden, if like a bunch of us can just stick around and take a picture so we could see how many people in the community contributed. Last year, there were like four of us and the pinwheels. So it would be really nice if we had like everybody from the park take a moment and um, know that it's going to bring awareness to child abuse prevention and so know that it's worthy it's a few moments of your morning and there's some Kennesaw orange juice on this side and was there water too okay so raw juice on the exit over there make sure you download their app when you download their app today you're gonna get a credit so the next time you go in the store and you pay with the app you'll have a credit and of course the clipboards thank you Yes, I do. I have information about the studio. Oh, I love you. You're so wonderful. Ooh, can I, I don't, take I this don't mic off? say that lightly. You can take that off. I mean, I really don't. I know. Can I show you? And I love that you're by my side always. Always. Always just remember that. I do. I always feel it. And I know you are. Yes. All right. May I sign? Yes. I Oh, I have the clipboards right here, and I have information about the studio. Um, yes, I have, pa I have free passes if you want to come and join me. So one, two, three passes, and here's a schedule if you like it on paper. Otherwise, you can go to yogajourney.com and look online at the classes, too. In the Wyndham Hotel on Glades okay. and 95, you got to go up to the fifth floor. Yes. So you just enter the hotel and come up to five, and we're at the end of the hallway. Hi. Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. That's a schedule. Here's passes. Anyone want a magnet for their car? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Be proud. Drive around with Yoga I Journey. So, so we know that you're a, you're a yogi. And then you can't be flipping the bird when they see <laughs> yoga on the back of the car. It's like a behavior modifier right there. <laughs> um, where is the email list? Yep, right here. Let me get you. Loka Samasta Sukino Pavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Pavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Pavantu Loka Test it. I know that you guys are all busy doing your things, but I just want to put it out there that um, the end of this month I have my spring retreat coming up. I still have a few spaces. So if you want to come with me four nights and five days um, to Dallanega, Georgia, it's the Blue Ridge Mountains. You want to come? Okay, awesome. Um, so we have uh, four days that we're going to immerse in yoga philosophy and practice. Um, it's going to be a really beautiful group of people. It couldn't be a more magnificent location in the spring in the mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains. So if anyone's interested in retreat, it's the end of this month, the 22nd to the 26th. Um, I still have just a few spaces. We're almost full. Um, we're about two weeks out. Yeah. I saw on Facebook. Yeah. I, I 
Yeah, I found the recipe. Did I have your schedule? I know it's on my yep. so like yeah, I think it's good to have it in the car. Like, yeah, cause you can't always look it up when you're on your phone, so it's like if you just have one in the car, you can look. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I have information about everything. This is to tune in live if you're not here in the park, a pass to the studio, schedule. I have a workshop today for teachers, um, spring retreat. Okay. What's your name? Where are we planting? Look at that. Oh, I'd like to eat this. Thank you. Okay, here's Bye. 